My name is uh, Chris Dahlgren. I'm a chief consulting engineer with GE Tachi in the US. I'm also a co-inventor of the BWX300 uh, technology. I'm going to answer the most searched questions about the SMR technologies today. The main difference is really the size and the time it takes to go from idea to electricity on the grid. By being smaller, they also they take less time, but they also can be safer by using safety features for a smaller output, smaller megawatt thermal in the core. Uh, SMRs can come in different with different technologies. The BWX300 is a boiling water reactor, and the distinct traits of this one is that we use proven technology in a smaller plant to get uh, a project done faster. This reactor produces 300 megawatt electric or 870 megawatt thermal. It's about five times smaller than a very large reactor, about three times smaller than an average reactor. SMRs are very safe. Um, nuclear, in general, is very safe. Uh, it's a very safe power um, type. EWX300 has been built using defense in depth, designed with defense in depth in mind, and also with uh, defense layers for all critical safety functions. So it's, um, yes, it's very safe. So a nuclear power plant includes several safety barriers, uh, five. So the pellet itself, the pressure tube, the reactor vessel, the containment, and then the reactor building. So there are five levels of protection between the fuel and the environment. Yeah, the reactor includes a very fast shutdown system uh, it's shutting down using control rods. They are hydraulically inserted into the core in two seconds. And so the reactor goes from full power to zero power in two seconds. Uh, after shutdown, you still have to remove the K-heat. So for the K-heat removal, we use passive heat exchangers that can remove the K-heat for up to seven days without any manual actions. Um, yes, an SMR can be built close to households and cities. It always depends on the local conditions and uh, the local environment. The goal is to be able to build this BWRX300 close to cities and thereby providing additional benefits such as heat to homes or um, heat or steam to industrial uh, projects. Actually, a boiling water reactor, so BWX300 is a boiling water reactor, is a very similar plant to a coal plant or oil plant. It uses a boiler, but instead of using uh, coal or oil to burn and boil water, we use nuclear energy. So we use the energy from splitting the atom fission to boil water instead of burning coal. But other than that, it's very similar. The boiling water reactor is a light water reactor. Um, it uses uh, what we call a low enriched fuel, which comes in the form of ceramic pellets. Ceramic uh, little blocks the size of the tip of uh, your little finger. Uh, they are stacked on top of each other in pressure tubes. Uh, we enrich, which means we increase the amount of uranium that is fissionable, which is uranium-235. It comes Natural uranium, uranium has 0.7% U-235, and we enrich it to between 3 and 5%. And then we put it in the form of ceramic pellets in pressure tubes. Those are then put together into fuel assemblies, and we put 240 fuel assemblies in the core. So the fuel goes into the 
core of an operating nuclear plant and it comes out after six to eight years and it's placed in a spent fuel pool. The spent fuel pool is inside the reactor building. It can be in the spent fuel pool for eight years or more. After that, it's placed into a transport cask and then stored either in dry cask storage or in an interim storage facility. So an SMR can be run in different ways. Uh, the, this boiling water reactor can load follow. So basically follow the load on the grid that's demanded. And we do that by moving the, the power plant from 100% to 50% and back to 100% again in two hours each way. So we can load follow with renewables if we know ahead of time for instance, solar, it's very predictable. The sun goes up and it comes down. We can use a bo this boiling water reactor to match solar. If we have forecast for wind, we can match with this nuclear power plant. We estimate um, up to a thousand people will support the construction schedule, maybe 1,000 to 1,500. For operation, we can have as few as 75 to as many as 200. And that really is up to the constructor and the developer to whether they want staff on site or off site or uh, centralized support or support on site.